and welcome to this live stream on Tuesday, July the 26th, 2022. I'm glad you're joining me. If you're joining me live, that's great. If you're not, if you're on the replay, that's great too. Um, and wherever you're watching this, there's an opportunity for us to get to know each other and to engage more. So I'll tell you about that in just a second. So this is Digital Marketing for B&B Owners Part 3. How to create content to attract more direct bookings. So as I say, if you're watching this live on Facebook, then say hi in the comments below so that I can come and say hello to you too. Post any questions as we go along. If you're watching this on Facebook on the replay, then just do a hashtag replay and, and put any comments or questions that you have below as well and I'll come back and answer them for you later. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you're the first to be notified each time I post a new video. I post videos regularly on my YouTube channel. So post your comments and questions below as well if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're watching this on my blog, that's perfect too. Okay, so wherever and whenever you're tuning in, welcome and thank you for your attention as we dive now into this topic which is how to create content to attract more direct bookings for your B&B. And as I say, this is part three of my digital marketing for B&B owners series, all around attracting more direct bookings and paying less commissions to those online travel agents. Just to recap then, in part one, we went deep into the purpose of your website and the part that it plays in converting your website visitors into bookings by using emotional language on your homepage rather than the functional language that most people use which is you know we have four lovely rooms and we've won this award and our breakfasts are great that's functional language right we went into emotional language in part one um, and also we went into how to take your website visitors on a journey through your online property the same as you would if they arrived at your front door and you were walking them around your actual property. And then in part two of this series, we looked at the back end of being visible online by Google. We dived into what is known as search engine op optimization or SEO, where you match up the search queries in Google that people are typing into Google with the content and the words on your website so that Google will be more likely to offer up your website as a solution to the question or query being asked, okay? That's sort of back-end stuff. Website is the front-end, SEO is the back-end, and then today in part three, we're gonna go deeper into creating more content to attract more social media followers and more website visitors and consequently more direct bookings. So let's get started. Let me see if there's uh, anybody's made any comments here so that I can just come and say hello. If you're here watching me live, then just say hi and uh, I've explained what you need to do um, just now. Okay, so we won't waste any more time on that. So let's dive into creating content. There are three principles that we need to observe and be aware of. I always like to work on principles and frameworks rather than you're doing this wrong or you're doing that right. There isn't a right and wrong way when you do things, when you post, when you create from your heart, right? But we do need to observe principles and frameworks as to how that's gonna be most effective for you with whatever you post from your heart, right? So let's start with the first principle. If you're relatively new to this industry or be even being business in being in business for yourself your first task then the principle here the first task is to dedicate yourself to learning the skills to market yourself online right if you've been working in a corporate job or a public sector job and you've never had to sell anything before in order to you know, get your, receive your paycheck, 
then you might find this a bit strange and alien. Why do I, why do I need to post on social media? Ooh, I don't want to do that. So you might be, find it a bit of a challenge. But all businesses these days, whether you're in the B&B world or you're in another world entirely, if you're in business for yourself, you need to be able to market yourself. And this is the first principle that I want you to understand is that you need to dedicate yourself to learning how to market yourself in online in your way using principles and frameworks for this to make sure that it's effective. If you're an established owner right now and you're not posting regularly on social media, then it's highly likely that you'll slowly but surely become invisible to your potential guests. And out of sight is out of mind in business. Out of sight is out of mind. If, and if you're someone who's fed up paying commissions to online travel agents or you need and you want more direct bookings this season, or you already feel that you're not up to speed with modern marketing using the internet, then your first task, again, is to commit to learning these new skills. The reason why Booking.com, uh, Airbnb, uh, Expedia, and all those third-party booking sites, online booking sites, have been able to become so successful is because the travel industry in general, B&B owners, innkeepers, hotel owners, hospitality in general, have been have not devoted themselves, dedicated themselves to learning online marketing skills, right? So they've snuck in and filled that void for you. That, you, that may or may not be a problem for you, but when you aren't in charge, of being able to create your own direct bookings whenever you want to and you're dependent on those platforms then at some point maybe I don't know how you feel about that and that's up to you entirely but my experiences with working with clients for the last nine years is that that is somehow someday going to become a problem for you so we want to kind of head that off at the at the pass right <laughs> so the hosts who consistently post online while building their business are the ones who get the direct bookings. It won't always be that way, okay? If you're established, you'll already know that over time you get more repeat bookings and less of your time is needed for marketing. But if you're new or you're just getting started or you're, you've been you know, in business for a year or so, you have to post online to build up a visibility, a presence online, and so that people can trust you, know, like, and trust you, and so that your business kind of picks up speed. In the beginning of your journey, say the first, say the first one to two to three years, you'll want to learn the skills to market yourself effectively on loan, online. You truly will. To be able to reach the guests that you want to welcome and then give them a great experience. And the sooner you actually get that, get that principle that you need to learn the skills to market yourself online that you don't already have, but you can learn, everybody can learn them. Once you get that principle, then everything will shift for you. Okay, so who do I need to learn from? Who knows about this business? How, you know, who, who, who can I learn from in order to market, market myself online? That's a different question to some of the questions that we get regularly in our Facebook group which is, you know, how do I attract young people? How do I attract old people? You want to be asking different questions when you learn how to market yourself online. And those questions will be ever self-evident to you when you take this on board. Okay, that's the first principle. Online marketing skills in this day and age, not just for this industry, but, but I'm talking about the B&B world here, the independent hospitality world. Online marketing skills are an absolute must in today's world, okay? First principle. Second principle, right? The easiest way to market yourself online and attract direct bookings is to see yourself as the link between what's going on in your area, your wider area, and your potential guests, right? You are the link between what's going on in your area, the attractions, the reasons people come, and your potential guests. If you look around your area at what other businesses and attractions are doing on their websites 
and on their social media pro profiles, you'll probably find that it isn't very much at all. Because this isn't just the case for B&B owners, right? It's for all small businesses. They don't take the time to learn the online marketing skills and therefore they don't know what to do, okay? They just pop up a website that talks about them, not their clients, has no particular customer journey, post a bit of this and sell that on social media and wonder why it doesn't work, okay? And that's where you come in. <laughs> because if you're someone who doesn't post much on social media because you can't think of anything to say, then when you see yourself as the missing link between everything that's going on in your area and the outside world, you'll find plenty to talk about. There is tons. There is always tons to talk about when you run a B&B, &B, right? everything's changed all the time there's a new restaurant opening there's uh there's a, a flower show happening there's there's a a concert happening there's a theater production there's uh this attraction that attraction you've renovated a new room you've bought a new i saw one of our clients has bought a new hot tub you know there's always something to say there's always something to talk about when i asked one of my clients recently he to give me three things that were happening in his area within the next few weeks that we could use for marketing purposes and when he thought about it he came back to me with nine things right he didn't that didn't take very long to do just it's so easy when you just position yourself and think of yourself as the missing link between your area and your potential guests you just have to look for them because local businesses are not that great at marketing themselves either. But when you do it for them, just because you live there and you too want to attract visitors, you know, you're all after the same thing here, you'll find that it will have a knock-on effect for you in the form of more direct bookings and you'll build more trust and goodwill with your community who will then start recommending you as the place to stay in your area and the whole thing will just kind of snowball into a beautiful mutually reciprocal thing that benefits everyone involved it's like giving to get and the giving comes first all right so second principle see yourself as the missing link between your what's going on in your area and your potential guests so uh, third principle right focus on your con focus on your content on where it's most likely to be seen. Decide what social media platforms you most enjoy being on, right? Because it's not about being every on every single platform and spreading yourself thinly. It's about being on the ones that you enjoy being on and the ones where the guests you want to welcome hang out and then you can forget about all the others, more or less, right? There are so new social media platforms springing up all the time, all over the place, but that doesn't mean you have to hop on them all. Far better to hone in on the one or two or three platforms that you most enjoy being on and where your potential guests are likely to be so that you can gain more visibility more quickly. My own preferences for my own B&B &B, and what I teach mostly to clients is YouTube and Facebook, and here's why. Facebook has a thing called groups. You may be in one or two already. And this is the magic that Facebook has over other platforms. I know LinkedIn has groups as well, but they don't work as well as Facebook groups. I know because I've got three groups on LinkedIn and I run at least three groups on Facebook and I know which ones work best for me. Once you get into Facebook groups, you've heard the saying, right? Birds of a feather flock together. So that's what people are doing in groups. They're interested in the same things. They've come together to talk about the things, the same things, the things that interest them. And if you get yourself into the most relevant groups for your B&B &B and your area, you'll be talking about those things too. And people will notice your helpful posts directing people to resources and information that they're looking for without a single word of self-promotion. <laughs> Educate and inform, do not sell on social media. Okay, not until 
you've built up the trust. And as far as YouTube is concerned, well, video speaks for itself, doesn't it? So if you're not yet doing video, then ask yourself, why not? Seriously, why not? A B and B business is perfect for video. With so much to do and see, so much kind of this visual content, right? So much to do and see, and so many ways to be able to educate people about your area. It's not difficult to find at least three topics. Just whip out your iPhone and start telling us about it, like a reporter would. Recently, we've been helping one of our clients get more visibility on YouTube, and in the last twenty-eight days, she's increased her channel views by over 10,000 and she's doubled, doubled the number of her subscribers, which has consequently led to way more bookings, direct bookings. Use the media and the platforms that you enjoy the most and that will, come, that will mean that it will come from your heart and it will come with authenticity and generosity uh, in a spirit of sharing your area with the people who who would like to visit. So let's recap, right? In part one of this digital marketing for B&B owners, we focused on your website and how you make it purposeful to lead people to it and to lead people on a journey when they arrive on it using emotional language, not functional language or what I call transactional language. Emotional language, telling stories about what they're going to experience when they stay with you. That's step, that was step one. In part two, we did the back end of that with SEO, search engine optimization, how to optimize your website so that Google will offer your website up to the people who are querying the questions that you can answer, right? Second thing. Third thing is getting visible on social media that drives more direct bookings, which means that your website has more visits, which means that Google will love you more, and constantly creating that content across the platforms that you enjoy so that you can be the online marketer, if you like, for your area. You're the online marketer who is the reporter, the missing link between your area and the online world and the people who want to visit, okay? Using the media that, that you most enjoy. So those are the principles, right? So we still have a, a few places left on our search engine op optimization workshop with, on how to attract more direct bookings from the internet. This is going to cover all three of these topics and how they fit together easily and effortlessly so you can get a little sort of system going that's gonna take you less time, save you money, and attract more of the people that you would most like to welcome. So you have less hassle, less work, um, less negative reviews, less commissions to online travel agents, who doesn't want more of that? So this is a 10-day workshop where, where we'll be taking you through how to get that website hopping, popping for you, to draw in the potential guests and turn them into bookings, how to find out what search terms people are using to find accommodation in your area and setting up your website to be the answer that Google gives them. And then how to write and film yourself on video to create the content to get more visibility online for your area and consequently more direct bookings for you. So we're covering the three topics that I've covered in the digital marketing series here. Plus, you'll get our usual personal help and support every day in a private group. Your investment for this workshop, it's 10 day workshop, is only $197, which is usually the rate for one extra booking that you're likely to attract. No guarantees, we can't guarantee, but you're likely to attract, you're putting yourself in a very good position to attract at least one direct booking from the work that you do with us, at least one and you will have gained a valuable skill set. So if you want to be part of this small group, working with me and my business partner, Matthew Newnham, who's a wordsmith extraordinaire, for just one hour per day for 10 days, then either leave me a message below, message me privately on Facebook Messenger, or email me at yvonne at bedroombreakfastcoach.com and I'll send you the details. So I want to know, okay, in the comments or wherever you're watching this right now, I want to know 
what you're what you're learning and what you're going to implement what what have you learned and what are you going to go away and implement from this because information is useless without implementation right so i want to know what you're going to go and use from this this is what i wanted to share with you today to make sure that you you are well equipped that you understand what's required if you like what's required from you as a B&B owner not just hosting not just providing nice rooms and you know soft pillows and great breakfasts but actually becoming an ace online marketer so that you're in charge of your life your paycheck and your world you're in charge of how well your business works for you be the face of your B&B yeah be the voice of your area be the face of your area okay be the face of your area so you never have to sell right you never have to sell rooms you just have to promote your area in our search SEO workshop we provide you with a content map how to come up with topics how to break them down how to create little bits of content and long bits of content you know short bits long bits video bits <laughs> how to do that easily and effortlessly so that you are visible online to your potential guests rosemary currently working with the guy who set up my website to link in a facebook page okay good so rosemary currently working with the guy who set up my website to to link in a facebook page yes but that's only that's the structure right you, that's the nuts and bolts you've got to work the thing right you've got to work the thing especially in the early days because I know you're in the early days of your business it's busy in the early days because not only are you hosting guests you know uh, a lot hopefully you're you're absolutely going to become that marketer you absolutely need to become that marketer so that everybody knows who you are and then people start saying oh I'm, I'm going to the Isle of Man next week I don't know where to stay immediately somebody will go you need to speak to Rosemary she knows everything that's going on and then they go and look you up on social media and then they that leads to your website and it all hooks in together more hits to your website means Google loves you more more content creation around what people need to see what people want to see about your area it, it's like a nice little bu bubble if you like of good stuff trust and goodwill is what you're building always online okay ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for your time we're just about at the half hour um so i will love you and leave you now and if you have any questions afterwards just uh you know put them in the comments below or email me yvonne at bedroombreakfastcoach.com and if you want to join our workshop just message me leave me a comment privately email me yvonne at bedroombreakfastcoach.com let me know and i'll send you the details so i hope to see you on the workshop hope to see you there it's going to be lots of fun I really enjoy doing these short, sharp workshops and getting people, you know, quick wins. That's what we specialize in doing in these short workshops, getting quick wins and getting you a breakthrough, basically, so that you can go on and build, you can build on that. Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.